So there's no way that Adam and Eve and that goddamn Noah and the flood and the Cain and Abel and the Tower of Babel, the Tower of Babel, there's no way that crap is is real, real. Tr Gilgamesh, the flood account of Gilgamesh and Noah's the exact same one. Here, let me tell you the similarities between Gilgamesh, the epic of Gilgamesh, the flood from the Gilgamesh story, and Noah's flood. Tell me if this sounds like Noah's flood to you or not. In the epic of Gilgamesh, you have, you know, God or several gods. They're going to destroy humankind because of their terrible wickedness and sinfulness. Then you have a righteous man directed to build an ark to save a few people, a select group of people, and all the species of animals. They also receive their orders from God directly. Noah from God, however, and then Gilgamesh's guy from a dream. And through the walls. Apparently, the God in Gilgamesh's day could talk through walls. They both had to build arcs. Noah's is rectangle. Ut Nap pissed Tim's was square. That's Gilgamesh's guy. Crazy name. Both arcs had a single door and at least one window. Big, great rain covered the land and mountains with water. Some water emerged from beneath the earth in the biblical account. What? The water came from under the earth. God damn God. Jesus fucking Christ. God damn Jesus. Spirit holy. The Noah flood was the result of a storm lasting 40 days and nights. Gilgamesh storm is much shorter. Are these the similarities? These don't. Okay, similarities and differences. All right. All right. Six days, seven nights came the wind and the flood. Okay, so what? Who gives a cr It was 40 days. I thought it was 371 days or something. Birds were released to find land. At first, a raven, three doves in the biblical account, and then a dove, a swallow, and raven in the Gilgamesh account. That's incredible. So in the Gilgamesh account, you have the ark, and it's a cube, right? It's They built it in a week. It's three times as big as the ark in the Genesis as Bible. But it's all the same stuff. All the living beings are loaded onto the ship and everything is killed, right? So we got to save all the living creatures, but everything is going to get killed first. And he's going to save his relatives and some craftsmen and all the beasts and animals of the field. That's it. Uh, Gilgamesh. So Gilgamesh, you know, up net, uh, uh, ut, ut, ut napist him. Also known as Atrahasis. There's another flood account. Not just the Gilgamesh one, but Atrahasis. Which they say Gilgamesh actually took from Atrahasis. Which I believe to be true too. Atrahasis was... They made humans out of blood and dirt. Wasn't Adam and Eve made out of dirt? So, back to the Epic of Gilgamesh. The flood in the Epic of Gilgamesh. You have Ishtar's mentioned. Ishtar is a god that's mentioned uh, screaming like she was in childbirth. Let's see here. You had all the animals. The, the door was sealed shut. It flattened the land. All the humans on earth were turned to clay. So it worked, right? All, all of them. Ishtar is Easter or Asarte. Fell to his knees. Released the animals. Once he saw that everything was going to be okay... Then Gilgamesh's guy fell to his knees. Fall on your knees. Hear the angel voice. Found land. Released a dove. Released a swallow. Both returned. Which means there was no land. But then when he released the raven. It didn't return. Then he released all the animals. Sacrificed the sheep to celebrate. Then God says, hey, you know, you're you're the gods now. They planted at the mouth of the rivers. They're going to be fine. The ark is lodged on Mount Nasser. So it even lodged itself on Mount Nasser. I think Noah it lodged on Mount Ararat. Mount Ararat. Birds were released. After the rain ceased, both arks came to rest on a mountain. Noah's on Era rat Genesis eight four, and 
Ut Napishtims on Nisur. These mountains are about 300 miles apart. Sacrifices were offered after the flood. Genesis 8.20. God was or gods were pleased by the sacrifices. Noah and Gilgamesh's guy received blessings. That Ut Ut Nap guy. That Ut Nap pissed him. Too many syllables. Too many weird, weird syllables. Noah's blessing was to populate the earth. Dominion over the animals. And Gilgamesh's guy was eternal life. Then God promised not to destroy humankind ever again. Um, I feel like that was exactly the Noah story. I don't, I feel like maybe I just know the simplified version of the Noah story. Maybe I should actually get the Noah story out and read it verbatim. Just to compare and contrast because my general understanding of this epic of Gilgamesh, Gilgamesh was, you know, before all, he's the first hero, the hero of heroes. Gilgamesh was around, what, 20 He's around the Egyptians, right? The founder of Iraq, Uruk. The founder of Ur, 2000 BC. And he reigned for 126 years. So like Abraham, right? Abraham lived to be 277 years old or something. So there you go. Atrahasis is related to the Epic of Gilgamesh. Is the flood narrative of the Gilgamesh. In Quito. He's a wild man created by the gods. Genesis was 1400 BC. So, yeah, Gilgamesh's guy, he had that flood happen to him in 2000 BC. And then 600 years later, it happened to, to Noah and his family, 1400 BC. And if you actually read Genesis, the first 10 books are a bunch of bullshit. You know that they're a bunch of bullshit. The next 40 books... After the first 10 books is when they actually start talking about the damn, you know, Abraham's family and this and that. Real specific details with uh, landmarks and historical names. Historical names and dates of people and towns and cities and events. So... Yeah, the Epic of Gilgamesh is 600 years earlier than Genesis. Genesis uh, plagiarized the Epic of Gilgamesh. They totally took the story. And, you know, good that they did it. I can't even say the guy's up, nap, pissed him. Up, up. I mean, it's just Noah sounds easier. Or you, the you man. Hey, you man. What's up, you man? I mean, Noah, John, Mark, Matthew, Luke, whatever, whatever you want. Luke in the flood. He saved all the living beings. God got sick of man and was like, oh, I'm sick of you wicked. Wait, didn't you create man? I did, but I think I made him too wicked or something. You got to make him a little bit better. All right, what about that one family? All right, we'll save the one family, wipe out the rest of them, and then just, <laughs> we're banking on you, okay, Luke? Luke. Luke. Cain and Abel, Adam and Eve, Noah and the Flood, the Tower of Babel. Grow the fuck up. Grow the fuck up. Jesus Christ, you believe that shit? Fuck it.